We now welcome UFC lightweight Rafael Fiziev. Rafael, thank you for the time, sir. We will take the first set of questions from Gabriel Gonzalez with Cape Side Press. Hello, Rafael. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, I can. Perfect. Um, obviously, the fight with Hanato was rescheduled from a little while ago. Can you just talk about uh, having to reset and now take the fight a little bit later than you expected? Um, yeah, before before nine or, or eight day, we know we know my opponent had Corona, and uh, just we we change we change schedules because because my hard hard training hard work finish finish for this time, and uh, and also I start just two day cheat meal, you know, eat everything what I can, burger bur burgers pizzas everything, and. Uh, Come back to hard work again. Couple couple weeks, yeah, hard work. We, when we've seen this happen, sometimes the fights they're able to get rebooked quickly. Other times, it seems like the positive tests keep coming up, like it's still in the system. Were you ever worried that something might happen again and the fight gets rescheduled again? Um, yes, of course, I worry about this. I worry about my opponent, and I worry about me too. You know, because because. Uh, because in this place everywhere now corona you know it's not like thailand in thailand no have this but yes of course worry about this but it is what it is if if, if happens again what we can do nothing a lot of people are excited you have a great two fights at the top of the card and you're going to be on the pay-per-view portion does that uh, add more excitement to you does it help out in camp knowing this is going to be a big fight with a lot of people watching um, sorry, can you, can you, can you say again, please, this English is not so good, you know, sometimes mm -hmm. when long question, long question, I don't understand. No problem. Just, you're going to be on the pay-per-view for this card. Does that make it more exciting when you're preparing for this fight? Yeah, when I see this, you know, of course, this, this some pressure for me, but this nice pressure, you know, it's like, it's make me, it's make me more energy, you know make me more motivation for for this fight but now it's changed a little bit but no problem too for me for me it's just just i want to fight i come to fight you know pay-per-view not pay-per-view for me it's not that. my final question how do you feel you match up with hinata stylistically um how, what, 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 like how do you see him as an opponent how do you think the fight will play out with him um Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, I think we have. Uh, he like he like fight in the in the feet, and uh, but he's good grappler. And but for me, this is basic feet, you know. And I think he, I think he try sometime, you know. For sure, he try to take me down, but see. And uh, I think feet, feet for me, it's it's nice if we fight in the feet, you know. Perfect. Thank you, Rafael. I'm sorry for the question. <laughs> we will take the next set of... Oh! Rafael! <laughs> sorry about that. We will take the next set of questions from James Mystery with Full Reptile. James, please go ahead. Okay, we will move on. We will take the next set of questions from Cote Cruz with Four to Win MMA. Hello, Rafael. Can you hear me? Oh, yes. Hey, how you doing, sir? Good to talk to you. Good. Yeah, let's talk. <laughs> Fantastic. You're currently one of the only male fighters from Kyrgyzstan in the UFC. How does it feel to represent your country in the most important promotion in the world? Uh, feels is great. Feels is great, and uh, like I'm first man from my country, and just a lone man from my country, and uh, it's funny. It's funny. It's it's good, you know. Like just just we fight, ready to fight now. Well, you started trading at a very young age with your cousins, and then you started with Muay Thai. 
how much of an influence these disciplines have been on your life and what do they mean to you personally? Um, you mean how many years I, when I start or when or what? Would you like me to repeat the question? Yeah, repeat please. This is life or no? Yeah, in your life, how has training been? Um, yeah, I start training 10 years old. Uh, I start training because because we from the village we come to we come to city and I go to school and some some guy punched me, you know, some guy punched me and I can't punch him back, you know, because I'm scared. And I go train next day, go start Muay Thai. And uh, yeah, this this is why I start. I see. In your last fight, you had a spectacular performance. You took the replacement fight, you won a performance bonus, and you left the Matrix dodge move to the reels. In this fight, how do you see your opponent? Do you think he can match your striking? Uh, yes, my opponent, he, he, he likes striking too. Last his fights, uh, his last fight, he, he choked, he choked some guy, but before he, he do a lot of like, he likes striking too, you know. A good striking too. A long guy. Uh, mm, I think we have chance with him, like show good, good striking, you know, good something, something moves, something, something like that, you know, something crazy, something. We try. I'm try for sure. He don't know. Well, best of luck in your fight this Saturday. I appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you. We will take the next set of questions from Keith Schillen with SureDog. Hey, Raphael, how are you? Uh, hi, I'm good, good, thank you. So my first question I want to ask you is, in the time of COVID, we get a lot of cancellations. Okay. Uh, in the time of COVID, uh, a lot of fights uh, get canceled, um, usually sometimes even days before. Would you be willing to step up to fight in the co-main event if something happens to Ferguson or Oliveira? No. Uh -huh. Oh, I think yeah. I think I think of course yeah. But uh, I have opponent. I need respect him. You know, he he trained too. You know, if 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 he have problem, and he he cancel for 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 fight, of course I say yes. Doesn't matter. Just I won't fight. But if I have opponent, and how 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 I left him, you know, because I need respect too. You know, he have family. He have everything. He need uh, he need work. He need fight too. Yeah, that's very respectful of you. Uh, one last question I want to ask you. I know you're one of the coaches at Tiger Muay Thai. My question is, how do you balance your time between coaching and training yourself? Um, it's good. Uh, it's good when I'm busy. You know, when, when I'm busy, I just come to train every day. After five, you know, like next day you come to train, you come to teach. And uh, every day you like... You do more technique. You watch more technique. You like it's it's more creative, you know, because you don't stay in one place. You need you need do something for do interesting training, not same train every day, you know, for 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 the peoples. And it's good for me just not stay busy. Uh, stay busy, sorry. And uh, but just because just before fight, maybe two months or two months or one and a half months ago now. I stopped the te stop the teaching and just focus on my fight and just good luck to you, sir. Thank you so much, Rafael. That is all the time we had for you, sir. Mm -hmm.